to show you now is another oscillation technique. Um, I would say that it would work on most people, not all. Um, and it's oscillate the head and the neck. Uh, now, remember that we've said that the head and neck, uh, if, you, if you're massaging them, you have to be careful. Yeah? Because if you do too many big movements, it's considered to be really, uh, um, it's going to contract the muscles because all the special organs are there. However, I don't know why, but sometimes if you do it small enough, it can be quite relaxing to the neck itself. So you come into here, and then what you do is just a small movement. You don't lift the head, you just do a small movement. And then you just let the muscles there on the neck to relax. I'm actually having my hands a little bit on the erector spiny on the neck, and then just moving it. And my and her uh, kind of in front of the ears, stopping it. Do you see? I'm stopping it. Otherwise, it will continue too much. I'm just stopping it. I can do that, or I can come from here and do a small movement. Yep. How is it, Kate? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I'll show you a few. First of all, it's that from here, the technique from here. <coughs> Your base of the wrist are stoppers. I find it people with a lot of tension on the neck. That would be <coughs> amazingly beneficial from that because they never know how to relax, and that would teach them how to relax. You can do that from here. <coughs> Yeah, or from here. You need to check with them. Yeah? So you can do that for a little while and then stop and say, how is it? Do you feel the benefit? What is the benefit? Well, I think it's really relaxing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But as I've said, mm -hmm. it can be not good. It can be actually counterproductive for some people. Mm. But it shouldn't be surprising because some medication would be great for one person and completely yeah. disaster for another person. Yeah. So not all size fit all and not all technique fits all. And I would like to try, you to try each one of you and, and then see what you think about it. Make your mind around it. Do you feel, do you feel good? And I'll walk around and help you with. Okay, so that's it really. Two technique. You can take it um, even further, you can do a little bit of, of oscillation this way. Yeah. Even you can do it on the, on the, on the sternum. Yeah. Another nice one is that I go and I put a support onto the neck. Really nice support. If you see my fingers going onto the other side, and I stabilize the neck. <coughs> and then what I'm going to do is just elongate the oh, thoracic. And it's a stretch, mm -hmm. yeah, really nice and powerful. I don't lift this hand; mm -hmm. I only mobilize this hand. Make your head feel really light. Well. Really light and long. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. really, really nice it's technique really as well. Nice you can do it this way. You can then move the the head, the thorax side mm -hmm. to side. Yeah, even you can come and attach to the hip and do that into the hip. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No good? So it's just that because I've got stomach, stomach pains that was pressing okay. in. So, but okay. it, it would normally feel good. <laughs> so I let's stop. Let's have Kate uh, rest and then shall we uh, get into pairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah?